Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Messages from Above with Tony G. Tony is a world renowned psychic medium. She has had the gift of being a psychic medium and channel her entire life. Tony hosts two TV shows Create a Life You Love and Psychic Medium, Tony G. She is also the author of five books. Being a healer and a hypnotist as well, it is her purpose and her passion to help you in every way she can. Phone lines are open now. Call in 858 5593 and let Tony answer your questions about life, love, finances, or help you connect with a loved one on the other side. Enjoy the show. Hello, good morning, and happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for joining me for Messages from Above. This is Tony Green, and I'm delighted and honored to be here with you today. So let's start off with a clearing for abundance. And this one is going to be specifically for wealth. And abundance and wealth are terms that can be used in any area of your life. Like I have a wealth of um, family members. I have a wealth of uh, whatever. I have abundance of love. So abundance, people, people, we have, we have very, very, very programmed beliefs, very programmed beliefs. We think we're out there every day saying, doing, being new things, but really think about it. We're creatures of habit, folks. <laughs> we go to the same places we, to, to do our shopping. We, we have the same routes that we take. We have um, the same foods that we eat. Very few of us will venture out and try something new as far as even even foods. Um, so, and our belief systems, our programming um, is is pretty much, it's pretty much set. Like what we believe, how we believe it. And, and words are very powerful to us. So when we think about it, Certain words, very specific words, will trigger an emotion in us. And it can be an emotion of happiness, anger, fear, uh, joy, ecstasy. But words are very powerful. And basically control us. They do. Words. Little words. Little words basically control us. And sometimes when we hear a word, it's a trigger. Now, if I say I'm going to do a clearing uh, for you to be a billionaire, many of you will be like, I don't need that. I, I, who needs a billion dollars, right? But if I say abundance, everybody is okay with the term abundance, right? So, and, and wealth. Even wealth, the word wealth, can be a trigger for some people. And I've said it before on the show, I'll say it again. Those things that we heard growing up are still running the show no matter what we want in our world today. <clears throat> How does that look? Um, if we believe people with too much money are greedy, bad, uh, 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 power-hungry, then we won't let ourselves have too much money. Now, here's the kicker. 
Here's the catch. What's too much money to me, <clears throat> excuse me, may not be too much money to you. And what's too much money to you may not be to the next guy. We all have our comfort zone of money. And your comfort zone, <laughs> and yes, trust me, believe me, and think about this. Your comfort zone is your average bank account balance. Boom. Yes. That's your comfort zone. Why is that your comfort zone? It doesn't matter how much you make. Okay? You could make $50,000 a year, $150,000 a year, $20,000 a year. Your financial comfort zone is your average bank account balance, okay? So no matter how much you make, you're going to make sure this is the amount you have because that's what you're comfortable with. And sometimes the more you make, the more you spend. Right, right. I have a little extra. So today we're going to work on abundance and wealth. Now, if you're not comfortable with wealth, comfortable with it. Really, get comfortable with that term. Um, because we can have wealth in every area. It's like abundance. And I challenge you and I ask you to please, 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 Think about the words that trigger you. Right? When somebody says something and it evokes an emotion, write that word down and the emotion it evoked. Even like, like if somebody uses the word love and it makes you uncomfortable or it makes you joyous, write that down with the emotion. And then go back as far as you can to figure out why is this evoking a, a negative emotion, okay? But right now, let's get the clearing underway. Um, everybody on the line, it, listening, re-listening is comfortable with abundance and wealth. That's an absolute no, so let's clear that. Ooh, and I, that, you know what? I don't know if you guys feel this. If you do, please, uh, you know, uh, email me and let me know what you feel when I'm doing these clearings, whether you're listening, re-listening, and listening again and again, because you can listen again and again. But I'm a little sensitive to energy, some could say. <clears throat> and when I'm doing clearings for you guys, I feel it. Like it, most of the time, this one just hit me in the stomach, which makes sense to me. It hit me in the chest and the face. Like my face, it feels um, like foggy right now. Like we're not seeing things clearly, and we can't catch that breath. Like we can't catch up. Um, and the stomach is like we're always being sucker punched with something. So, oh, okay, here it goes. It's leaving, it's leaving, it's leaving. Beautiful. Okay, so a couple, I, I'm horrible at promoting myself. I, I just figure if you're here, you already know a bit about me, and I don't need to say this, but but everybody keeps telling me, you need to promote yourself more. So here's here's my short um I, I'm so uncomfortable, I can't even get the words out. Maybe I should do a clearing on being able to promote myself. Huh? Okay, so here's my little shorty as I possibly can promotion. Um, I do, jeez uh, <laughs> Louise. Okay, um, I'm available for private sessions. You can go to my website, tonig.info, and all the information there is um, for private sessions, whether it be private clearings, readings, or even hypnosis. All of my books, including my newest book, are available on the website, on my website. Now, I'm going to tell you my books. I say they're my books, but really they're the angels. Um, Every single, I mean, I have, I think, seven, seven books, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven books now. And um, 
every single book was channeled. And and this is, I, it's crazy that it happens this way, but it's not. I sit down, they're like, it's time for a book. I sit down and they like, I just go and just write and write and write and write. The writing process of getting the book, uh, the content of the book is very quick because it's not me. I don't, I don't take credit for it. Um, <clears throat> And the putting it to the computer, because everything is handwritten or recorded. Um, so getting it to the computer, that's, that's the next step. And then getting it edited, that actually takes longer. The getting it to the computer and editing it actually takes longer than the writing it process. So um, all of the books are from heaven. They're from angels. And as you read them, and I do, like, I, I'm not doing KDP anymore. Um, I'm not doing Kindle. I'm, I should say I'm not doing Kindle books anymore. I'm only doing paper. And there, there's a lot of reasons for that that are not important right now. But as you go through these books, uh, you will find um, – I am still doing KDP. I have to correct that. But I'm not doing Kindle books anymore or electronic books anymore. So as you go through – the books, your the goal is to listen to it like it's your angel talking to you. And in my newest book, uh, there are several um, messages or poems that are very a, a little. I don't want to use the word intense, but they're very strong. They're very powerful. And one of the poems that people seem to be loving the most, I, I believe the title is A Message from Heaven or A Message from Above. And every, I mean, as people read it, they're like, okay, okay, okay. And there's a certain point where it hits them what this is. And they just start choking up and crying. And it, it, everybody says this, specific poem is so worth the price of the book. Some people have literally taken those, pa- that, those two pages out and carry it with them everywhere to remind them. So I, th- that's my, my bit of a self-promotion. That's it. That's all I've got. Okay, now I'm going to go to callers. If, when I say your area code, please tell me your name and where you're calling from. And uh, and then um, one question. What question would you like to ask me for today? What do you need to know about life, love, finances, career? And not only about that, but uh, let me know. Uh, yeah, that, that. And it's one question. I don't know who I thought I was going with that. Um, I'm trying to multitask here. <laughs> not working very well Um, and please let it be one question and a a very to the point question okie dokie I am going to go to caller 856 hello 856 how are you today hi Tony this is Laura I'm doing good Uh, excellent Excellent, excellent. How can I help you? A uh, job. I'm looking for a job, and I'd like to know what you see about that. Okay, Laura. Um, I I feel like for some reason. You know, it's really weird. I I I very rarely have this happen. But what I'm getting is uh not a lot. But if I have to let me fish fish around this a bit and see what else I can pick up because sometimes when they don't answer your question it's because they have something else or because 
Why aren't you answering this? Huh. Okay. Have you put a lot of uh, inquiries out there, a lot of resumes and applying for? Yeah, I'm doing that now, actually. I had an interview last week, and then I found out Friday I didn't get the job. So I'm um, hoping to get something I'm sorry. Else. So now here's, okay, so t- I hear Tuesday. I keep hearing tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And then now I'm hearing Tuesday, which is tomorrow. Um, I feel like something's going to come through tomorrow. Now, this might not be an actual job. This might be um, an an offer for an interview. And I have to ask you, I, I keep hearing telecommunication, and I don't know why. I don't know why I keep hearing that, but I, that that was the first thing I heard, and I kind of pushed it aside because I know you're looking for a, a date, and I don't know if that makes sense to you. But pay attention when things come in and when the final decisions are made, and get back to me and let me know if that word meant anything as far as this goes. Um Tomorrow you're going to hear something. It's going to be something, well, I, I believe. Now, sometimes when they say tomorrow, it's not literally tomorrow, but they actually said Tuesday. So I think it is literally tomorrow. I feel like whatever comes down the pike next is going to be really good. It's going to have um, some really good, okay, I'm starting to get goosebumps. Whew. I was nervous for a second there. <laughs> um, it's going to have some really powerful benefits to it. And now whether that are, those are literal benefits or um, or actually, whether those are literal benefits or uh, uh, the benefit of the job is like working from home or doing this, it, it's going to be really good. It's going to fit into your wheelhouse. It's going to be perfect for you. I want to tell you uh, when, when we don't get a position, it is very frustrating and it, it leaves us a little more depleted. But always take the the stance or the understanding that just wasn't, excuse me, the right one. Um, there's something better, uh, and okay. it's on its way now. And that's exactly what I'm hearing about the last one. Even though you know, sometimes when we don't have a position, we're so desperate, we'll take anything. And they're reminding us, don't put yourself in that position because where where you end up might be way worse than where you've been before. So just say, bring me the right one. And a lot of people, when we're out of work, we make the statement, just bring me anything. Bring me anything. Oh. And what shows up is horrible. So say, bring the right one now. Bring the perfect fit now. I do feel like this next position, it is going to be offered to you. And I do feel like you will take it. And I do feel like you're going to hear from this company this week. And again, as I say this week to give it some time, to give it that little bit of uh, whatever they're saying tomorrow. So whether that means literally tomorrow, and I think in this case it absolutely might, or sometime this week there should be, you should hear something and I feel like the company that you're going to end up with is is a pretty decent company. You're going to be really happy with it. I, I do want you to get back to me and let me know um, <clears throat> how everything worked out and um, and how you uh, – if it was literally tomorrow or not. Okay. Uh, I will let you know. Thank, Thank you. And, and the other – you're welcome. Yeah. The one other thing I get is um, even if you have interviews set up, keep sending stuff out. The more we send out into the universe, the more we strengthen that energy. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I will do that. Thank you. And, and let's do, you're welcome. Let's do a real quick clearing here because I know so many people are looking for work right now. So I'm going to say, uh, the perfect position is coming to everybody listening and re-listening to this show. And I'm getting a, a no, that doesn't mean you specifically. This is for, for you, but also for everyone else. 
So let's clear that so that the per position can come in for people. Um, it's good to have a, a, a job. It's better to be in the right place with the right people. So we're going to clear that so that everybody can get into that right company, that right position with people they kind of, uh, that that are kind of like-minded, right, that are in alignment. We want that alignment with work no matter where we are. Yeah, so absolutely. doing that clearing, and yeah, and again, listen, re-listen, um, these clearing, clearings will, will can, can only help. So I want to thank you so much for calling in, and I can't wait to hear back on how everything um, works out, okay, love? Okay, thanks, Tony. You are Bye. so welcome. Bye-bye. I'm going to go to the very next caller, and 831. Oopsie, hold on, 831. Uh, 831, you're on the line. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Christina. Christina. <clears throat> and I'm calling from California this morning. Hey, Christina in California. What's your question for me? Um, my question is, um, I've been putting it out to the universe, um, that I um, there's a job, a specific job that I would like, and it would enable me to be able to study and to write. Um, and I... I'm wondering when you see that coming for me. Okay. Um, Whatever you receive. I, I'm getting, now I know, I, I'm getting a month, month and a half, but I'm also getting, um, I'm getting the term pursue, pursue, pursue. So um, now I do have one client who who um, that is, I'll say I know of a person who says they just put things out into the universe and then they take absolutely no action. I'm like, that's charming. You have to take action. <laughs> and I know that that's, that's not the case with you. But I'm saying... They're saying um, you have to do a deep dive, a deep search on this because there's a outlet or a an outlet, a venue, a place that you're not aware of yet that that will be that will be viable. So. Um, what I, I what I'm getting is a month, month and a half. Um, and depending on what happens over the next month, month and a half, it could be up to three months, but I feel like it's going to be that month, month and a half mark that this comes in, not that you're there, that you're going to hear about it or be introduced or connected in a month, you know, month and a half, and then from there the pro process will go. What I'm mm -hmm. thinking is, um, number one, you are spot on. I was feeling that right now um, – if if it's meant for me to go now, you know, because I, I would like to go now, you know, but there is a mm -hmm. lot of out-of-the-ordinary things going on where I've been going, going, doing tons of declarations for court, nonstop working, hours on end, 10 hours plus, and mm -hmm. um, managing school on top of that. And I thought, I real, realistically, I think it would be better when I'm finished with this semester, which will be in the very beginning of December. And mm -hmm. uh, then I received Start Looking Now. And I thought, what? You know, <laughs> well, let's get some validation on it. So this is good. So I can start um, trying to find the avenue or, and following the impulses that, because you'll never, that will always lead you to where you need to be and the perfect mm -hmm. job that's going to be for me so that I'll be safe and I will be all right and I'll be happy doing what I'm doing. Um, it'll give me enough freedom to be able to study and write and do some other things, uh, but have that sacred space. And um, so you are right on with what you're hearing. So 
you know, even if it, you have a craving for chicken wings, you, uh, I knew somebody who did, and she went and met the person who ended up buying her house. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> so for me, uh, thank you for what you said. That that's so it, it helps me to feel good that yes, um, you know, I'll be moving. Yes, um, it'll be a beautiful place, and I'll be able to start. Um, I just feel like it's time for me to start using the gifts um, that I've been giving, given and um, really start, you know, uh, spreading my wings, so to speak. So I really, mm-hmm. this is, I'm a first-time caller. I'm, I'm amazed that I'm smiling. Like, thank you, oh, because that really helped you're me. You're so welcome. Because I, I argue with you're spirit. So, so, like, what? Oh, God, I'm supposed you to start too. looking now? <laughs> you too. <laughs> you too. So, <laughs> and again, I, I want to say, um, again, now let me do a deep dive. Okay, do what they're calling a deep dive, and it's really important that you do. And thank you for the confirmation. It always helps me because because I don't, I don't always hear back from people, but they'll email me and say, yeah, it happened, like you said. But it, So it's good to, to have some confirmation. But I'm going to tell you, they're saying do a deep dive, meaning check out all the resources, the venues, whatever this is. Check it out. Check out all the, you're missing you're missing the main one. You haven't hit on the main spot yet or the final, the, the spot yet or the thing or the venue yet. And the other thing is saying once you find that, everything will fall into place. And the bigger thing is it might be a month and a month, uh, the four to six weeks before you know, uh, before you find it. And then from there it's going to go. It might not happen in four to six weeks, but you're going to find out about it within that four to six weeks and then start prepping for it. And and timing, I know we want what we want when we want it, right? Like, I'm ready now. No, yeah. if we were ready now, it would be right here in front of us right now. And what we have to you're realize right. is, yeah, and and again, I'm not going to call this a pre- it is a prediction. I keep getting for every single client, especially those who work in the school system, in four to six weeks, everything is going to change. They're not t- they are telling me what that change is, but I'm not saying it out loud. But that tells me there are going to be some big changes coming in that four to six week time. So even if you find this now, in four to six weeks, it would be problematic and all of your plans might be compromised. If you find it between now and that four to six weeks, you can start replanning. You can start planning for a reopening. I'm not saying everything's shutting down again, but I'm just saying words keep flying out of my mouth. I keep trying to stop from flying out of my mouth. That's what being a channel is. Words just fly out of your mouth. Um, so I'm going to tell you, whatever yes. you find now, the prep, you're going to be prepping for when the time is right. Yes, because it'll be, I really (laughs) feel like it'll be a meeting and then um, a a feeling where they're really looking for somebody that um, is genuine and loyal and and trustworthy and that their time is the perfect timing with me. Because I know right now with this case that I'm doing, and trying to do school, and then going you know, to throw a move in that. Um, I was thinking, I'm being a little am- too ambitious here, and I think I am going to just turn it over to the universe. What, whatever, whenever it's the best time, let it come to and, me. I've placed my is, order. Okay. Here, I have to do something quick. I want to say that's absolutely correct, and I wish I had a little more time. I want to tell everybody who didn't get through today, I'm so, so sorry. Please call back next week. I have 30 minutes every Monday at noon Central Time. Please, if I didn't get to you today, please call back next week, and I will do my best to get to you. And thank you to everybody who's listening all over the world in Australia. I have so many listeners in Australia and Canada and even in in, um, many other countries. So thank you so much. 
And for those I did get through to, um, I'm grateful I was able to help you. And please listen to this show and other shows for the clearing. They work just as much in a re-listening. Have a